We're here with lead bartender Topher from State Street who's getting passionate about margaritas, right? <laughs> yes, today's National Margarita Day, so we'll be making up some of my favorite margaritas using my tequilas that I prefer to use inside of there. Okay. Uh, good, yeah. Today we have a Dobel Diamante and a uh, Herradura Ultra. Both are going to be an Añejo tequila that they charcoal filter out the coloring, so you don't oh, have an oaky flavor profile that. to that. Yeah. So it's one of those things where you get the nice smooth roundness of a good Añejo tequila, but it's still great for cocktail making, because a lot of oh, times okay. Añejo tequila doesn't let itself to a good margarita. Does that filtering also help you the next morning? Yes, it does. Okay. <laughs> okay. Those minutes are a huge uh, part of your hangover the next day. Oh, okay. Because your body does not necessarily like to digest those. So oh, when I'm looking for tequila, yeah. do I look for filtered? Is look, that look for on the on Yeho, okay. a filtered tequila? So okay. that's if it's that's, white. It's white. Yes. Yeah. So okay. You want to be drinking the white tequilas, but a lot of times you'd like to have that nice mature aged tequila. Mm. But then they're going back through and refiltering out some of those components, mm. so you don't get that big oaky bomb that you necessarily would. Right. Sometimes mm. you want to drink a Don Julio of 1942 that has that flavor profile, sometimes you don't. Or if okay. you want to make a cocktail with a really good tequila, that's a better option. I oh, noticed wow. none of these have the uh, worm at the bottom. No, uh, <laughs> worm is lit to be mezcal forward and uh, mostly for gringo. So we don't need to be eating the worm in those. I was hoping that was just one of those urban legends. That is an urban legend. It's literally just, just for gringo, so they'll buy the bottle. Awesome. So, so Mexicans do not have worms in their tequila. Exactly. Topher, I'm going to move on from the worm for a second. You got Linda already started on um, rimming the glass. Uh, so we're rimming the glass, uh, putting a salt rim on there. We have a spicy and a regular salt rim on there. We do a fun little trick with a lime where you just cut, oh, make a little right. Pac-Man. Yeah. Like a little mouth. Yeah, exactly. And then you just get a little edge on there. You only do half the glass. I only do half the glass, just so you get less of that salt in there, so you don't get a bunch of salt inside of your cocktail, That's so okay. it's not oh. rolling into there. Oh, I am, okay. And then okay. you get that option to have and to not have. I love that. Also, we like to use a really, like, the fun, crafty salts that you see in your, your sort of tops and things like that it, on the rims of those, because, you know, because you can't. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so while Linda gets to work rimming the glass. Uh, and then we need to start squeezing some lime juice. Right. The fresher, the better. It's one of those things. These look pretty fresh. Yep. I love that there's no sour mix. And no sour mix. And you know, that's one of those things. You don't really need all that extra sugar, all the extra things that they put inside of there. Because, I mean, really, sour mix is just high fructose corn syrup, mm. so we like to thin, uh, and then citric acid. Yes. Huh. And that's not what you want. Yeah. Well, and so... Lime juice is a big portion in that portion of the margarita as well, so we might as well use the best possible ingredients, get some mm -hmm. of that zest that you get off of these limes. So what's the proportion here? It looks like uh, we're doing two full limes. Uh, we're going to, to be honest, what we're going to do is we're going to do two ounces of tequila per margarita. Okay. We're going to do an ounce of orange liqueur, and we're going to do an ounce of lime juice. Okay, so two. So we're probably going to need about four limes is probably oh, what that's going to turn into. That's a bunch. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Well, that's one of those things. We're trying to make it bright and refreshing. We're trying to wake this cocktail up by yeah. having this great limey flavor to yeah. it. We're having it clean, as clean as simple as we're going to make it. You want that good, fresh flavor too. Yeah, fresh lime. Sometimes make a huge I get difference. a margarita that does not taste good. Yes, it reminds me of motor oil. Yeah, yeah. Well, and that's probably what is this? that's probably the the sour mix that they're probably using there, or the bar's not paying attention to it. Sour mix. Uh, limes tend to oxidize, so realistically, lime juice should sit around for three hours, and you should just throw it away. Oh, okay. oh there's really? no reason wow. for that. Like, that should be You're good, good? For us right okay. now. Yeah. So you must be doing a lot of fresh juicing uh, at, the, at, at State, State Street. It's constant uh, for our limes. We do. Per order, so if oh, you order great. a mojito, margarita, any of that stuff, we do the lime juice right then. Oh, that's cool. We don't pre-prep it because it's one of those things that will just slip away to the wayside, and then all of a okay. sudden you have the lime juice that sits around for two days, and then you have this really metallic flavor. Yeah, that's 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 like, yeah, that's and that's it. and it's the lime juice difference. that's oxidized. Well, uh -huh. ours isn't going to sit around. No, <laughs> no, we're <laughs> ready. Uh -huh. So now we have this lime juice prepared for it. Uh, we're going to be building the five cocktails for us today. So we'll be splitting between these two shaker tins. Okay. So we'll go ahead and start off with. It's going to be five ounces of tequila oh. per shaker. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. It's almost five o'clock. We don't mess around. <laughs> Just <laughs> it's say it. It's the national day, people. I know. Yes. We've got to be the, passionate about it. Exactly. Right? Yeah, and that's the thing. Is like that's the main show in this cocktail is going to be the tequila. So there's only, you know, we should be using a quality tequila, and that's one of those things where we want to show it off. Great. Yeah. We'll be using a quality French cognac-based orange liqueur, which I always suggest. Uh, you know, Cointreau is a good option as well. Uh, but I like this stuff Bouchon. It doesn't break the bank. Oh, you know, okay. The, uh, Good yeah. to know, because Cointreau, Cointreau can be very expensive. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know, it's one yeah. of those things where then all of a sudden it's just out of hand. All right, so we are celebrating National Margarita Day with Topher from State Street Eating House. They are well known for their award-winning margaritas, and Topher keeps it simple, just good, clean, fresh ingredients. So stop by, say hi to him, and enjoy a margarita. That is certainly what we are going to do, because we've got to celebrate the day. So good to see you, Candace. Thanks <laughs> Thank for you. joining us. Take some time and enjoy the Suncoast view.
Because that's 